Hello, my amazing artists. Today, we are going to complete the final step of our Generati inspired Arctic landscape. Remember that as we're working on our landscape, we're learning about our word mixed media, which means you're creating a work of art using more than one art material or medium. So far, we have drawn in with pencil, some pen and ink techniques, and we have painted using our markers and our sky. Our last step today is to do our pen and ink techniques using either a black marker, if you are a friend at home, or a black Sharpie, if you are a friend in class. Both of my friends need to make sure that before they add their marker, their painting is completely dry. We do not want to add marker to a sky that is still wet from paint. Let's get started together by pulling up our camera large so we can all see. There we go. Since I'm a friend working from home right now, I'm going to use my black marker from my supply bag. I'm going to open it up and snap that cap on the back and I'm going to trace all of my pencil lines. I'm going to start with the moon that I made in my sky. And remember that I'm not coloring anything in for my pen and ink techniques. Next, I'm going to go back to my horizon line in the middle, tracing that very carefully. I'm going to come up to my mountains and first outline the tops of the mountains where the land is meeting that sky. And this is where if you had a few oopsies in your painting, if some of the paint came through your pencil lines, you can make that marker line a little bit thicker to cover them up. I'm going to keep tracing here. Next, I'm going to go back and work on the inside. I'll trace my curvy line. And then I'm going to fill in all the lines where I did my cross hatching. Remember, cross hatching is a pen and ink technique where we use straight lines to give value to our work. Good, I'll continue this in all of my mountains. Next, I'm going to add my pen and ink to my dots that I included inside the snowy part of my mountains to add that feeling of texture. Then I will outline the path that I created. And last, I will outline all of my trees. to close my marker and set it to the side. My final step today is to carefully cut around the edge of my circle. I'm going to grab my scissors out of my supply kit and remember in art we always talk about how we open and close our scissors with the hand that we write with whether that's your right hand or your left hand and we use our other hand to turn our paper. Let's cut it out.
And now I have my finished winter landscape. I cannot wait to see how yours turns out.